was a hell of a night. After a family dinner gone wrong again, you are still sitting in your car, drive home. Wait. Okay. Uh, dark clouds hide the moon this night and heavy rain pours down. You can barely see the road. Feeling dizzy, you close your eyes for just one second. Your cl your car no your car slides on the wet wet street. The last thing you see is the shade of a tree in front of your window. Yes. When you wake up, the rain was already stopped and made place for a thick fog. Your body is lying on the ground, no signs of the car in which you have been just sitting. Due to the fog, you are, you are barely able to see your surroundings. Only one small light seems to shine in the darkness. You decide to follow it, as it is the only lead you have right now. While you follow a small path leading to the light, you feel like you have lost any orientation. Your wet coat lies heavy on your shoulders, and you are craving for a warmth place to stay. Your way seems long and threatening. A harsh wind lets you freeze while you try to reach the end of the path. Soon the sight of a tall building reveals itself in front of your eyes. The old manor seems abandoned, but it's, it is your only chance to find help in this night. A rusty old gateway leads you to the entrance of the old building. Surprisingly, the entrance door stands open, and you can enter without any problems. The room you enter is completely dark. The sound of someone playing a melancholic melody on a piano reaching reaches your ears. There must be someone living in this house. You step forward and decide you don't want to be unrecognized any longer. Hello? Is anyone there? In an instant, the piano stops playing. Just as you are about to call out a second time, you hear the door close behind you. You directly turn to the entrance door, but you cannot open it anymore. Without a key, you won't be able to leave through this door. Suddenly, suddenly, the lights go on and reveal the entrance hall in front of you. A huge luster is hanging in the middle of the room. It seems the furnishing has not been used for a while, but it is obvious that the owner of this house is a rich person. In front of you, in front, you see an impressively grand staircase leading to the first floor of the building. On the ground, on the ground floor, there are two doors at the side of the room. Although the lights are on, no living person seems to be nearby. You would decide to move to help, to find help, or just a way to leave this place again. What are you going? What? What am I going to do? First, let me save, and we'll go. I'll stay downstairs. You'll look around the ground floor to see if you can find anything useful. The furniture case casts long shadows on the ground. Soon you find an antique telephone standing on an old wooden table. Do you want to use the telephone for God to call for help? Uh, uh, yes, I want to, no, I don't want, uh, yeah. You lift the handset of the phone, but you don't hear any sound coming from the phone. Disappointed, you put the phone down again. Just as you turn around, the phone begins to ring. Rang. Do you want to answer the phone? Yes. With an anxious feeling, you lift the handset. You hear a strange acoustic noise. A distorted female voice begins to talk. The last time I saw him was in the cellar. I would not go there. The phone is dead again. Irritated, you look around the room, 
but no one is it to be seen. Silently, you put the phone down again. You turn to... You turn to the two doors at the side of the, of the room. The door on the left is made out of metal. It shows two hands, which seems to keep the door closed in a symbolic way. Somehow, this door does not seem as old as the rest of the building. You have no idea what might be behind it. And the door on the right is just an old rusty door, which seems to have used quite, been used quite often. There is a small window in the door, but it is not clean enough to, to look through. Which door shall I take? Well then, let me just do this. Uh, let's go. Let's go the rusty door, shall we? A beautiful, well-kept winter garden reveals itself in front of you. The sweet scent of dozens of flowers fill the air. You see colorful plants and all of, from all over the world. Sunlight falls through the glassy roof as, mu as so much time passed already. The sound of small insects and birds reach your ear. Never would you have thought that such an oasis could be hidden in a place like this. Nevertheless, you feel anxiety. You feel like you shouldn't be here. Maybe you will find an exit at the other side of the garden. The pathway splits in front of you. Far from far away, you hear the sounds of watering cans. You assume it comes from the left direction. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go to the left. You turn left and walk along the pathway. Soon you hear the sound of pouring water, pouring water again. This time the sound is accompanied by steps. Silently you move forward. You don't know if the person who works here is still friendly. Soon you hear a voice of an old woman humming an old children's song. Carefully you advance her, advance her and see. Here touching the plants around her gently. She doesn't seem to be dangerous, so you decide to ask her for a way out. How do you want to approach her? <laughs> I talk to her. Yeah, let's, let's just talk. You clear your throat. Ex excuse me? The old woman cringes for a moment, but then turns around calmly. Only now you notice the dog beside her. She looks like she he, no, he looks at you with bright eyes. His body his body is ready to attack if it's necessary. Who are you? I'm sorry, I got lost and I had a car accident at the and the door of this house was open. So the woman looks at you with dis discontent. I believe you. The door often stands open, and there is a melody of our piano. I don't know what they want to tell me. Sadly, the old woman lowers her head. You wonder if she is a little bit crazy. How can I leave this place? The woman hesitates for a moment. I have the key for the entrance. It's best to use this door. She nods and she nods and begins. <sighs> uh, fuck. She nods and begins walking directly. Her dog follows her slowly, walking with a limp. She leads you to the main hall again. She takes a key from her jacket and inserts it into the lock. In this moment, a scream fills the air. It seems to come from the second floor on the ground floor. Directly, the dog begins to growl waiting for an order from his master. What do you want to do? You know the screams of me, I want to know what's going on here. Uh, yeah. I love a good mystery, I will love it. So, let's go up. Without thinking, you head to the second floor on the ground floor. You hear a do the dog leash hit the floor, but you are quick enough to enter the new area of the house. Stairs leads, leads down into the cellar. Oh, goddammit. <laughs> the dim light barely shows you, you the way. 
Soon, you are left in complete darkness. Moving along the wall, you try to find your way. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, soon, a faint cry comes. As an answer, it leads you to the right direction. You step, your step fastens when you hear the dogs barking again. You run as fast as you can, and soon you bounce against the door, which leads you into a room. You try to close the door behind you, but the lock seems to be broken. You briefly, you have a, you have a look around. Oh, Jesus. But hesitate when you notice a giant cage on the side of the room. Is this AI generated? Looks like it. An old man looks at you through the bars. The key. The key. Behind the door which you kept shut... Laboriously, you hear the screams of the old man accompanied by the anger of growls of the dog. Suddenly, the old man throws a pottery bowl which must have been in his cage on the ground. A couple of sharp broken fragments fall into you in front of your feet. You take one, but not without cutting your finger. Maybe it can be useful. You still have to make a plan how to handle the situation. The door behind you is still only an exit in the room. What do you want to do? Yeah, I tear the door open. You tear the door open, but exactly in this moment you realize that you have made a mistake. God damn it. Uh, image dog by clothes. Lava. <laughs> the dog waiting behind the door is already ready to jump in a second and his teeth sink into your neck. With difficulty, you try to ram the fragment into his body, but it's already too late. The last power leaves your body, and you sink down on the floor, dead. Dead end. Okay. Let's see the other ending, shall we? You step back, the dog pushes the door open, and gets ready to jump, but in the moment, you already storm forward, and ram the fragment into his neck. The dog tries to bark one last time, but only a faint sound comes from the jaw. Damn, I killed a dog. You turn towards the key rack with the help of the old man. You find the key to his prison and free him. Together you... Why am I... Why... Huh? Why did I... Huh? That... That is not logical. Why would I do that? I don't know the old man. Together you run back to the main hall. The old woman is not here anymore, but her key is still stuck in the door. When you have left the house, you ask the old man what has happened, but he only grins at you crazily, turns, turns around and runs away. For a moment you ask yourself if you, if you should have let him go, but you ignore this thought soon again. Wait, how... How can an old man run away? His arthritis should have kicked in. If he is that, that decrepit. You have, you have done the right thing, I doubt. With your heart beating loudly, you leave this terrible place. After walking a while, the house disappears behind you. The end. Bruh. Hold on a second. Uh, okay, if I... Hmm. Let's go to the door on the left. Use the center. Immediately a musty smell fills the room. The, flicker, the flickering lights on the walls reveal stairs leading down to the unknown destination. It is extremely cold there. The floor is white and soon the fear is stuck in water. You try to ignore the coldness and go down the dark stairs. You suppose you will reach the cellar of the building. Uh, it goes, you cannot see much in the, the blah blah blah. What will I do? I'll crawl through the passway. We'll continue following the stairs. Oh, more stuff. Let's go down the stairs. You, 
you decide to follow the stairs down to so the strange scent fills the air and you hope you will never know where they're coming from Ooh, just just as you think about returning to the main hall you reach a metal door which much must lead to the basement the the door is covered in a spider in spider webs and it seems no one has used it in a very long time otherwise you sp you smell the scent of a perfume, vanilla and lavender. Well, you push the door open and the smell of decay lets you choke. Sunlight is falling through the window on the side. Shortly, before it was still dark. Has so much time gone by since you arrived here? Directly in front of you are a dozen of papers and magazines lying on the desk and on the floor. A key rack full of rusty keys is hanging on the wall. Jesus. Just as you decide to take a closer look at the newspaper's articles on the floor, a moan lets your body freeze. Yeah, I fucking heard the moan, Jesus Christ. You turn around, terrified, you look at a giant cage on the other side, part of the room. Whoa. An old skinny man looks at you, his fingers crawl, cl clawing on the bars of the cage. His long, dirty hair covers his bare, bony chest. He is captured in this cage. There is only one small door, too small for a human to fit through. <sighs> a plate with food and water, water is standing next to the door. Release me. Please release me. St can you stop looking me with those eyes? When you let me free, I will tell you which key you need to get out of here. How would you know that I'm trapped here? The man grins mockingly. <laughs> All are trapped here. His, scrang his, his scraggy finger points towards the corner of the room. You see a decayed body leaning against the wall. The police uniform of the dead body was corridor co corroded by rats. How can you leave this place? Do you want to release the old man in hopes to find a way to escape? Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Uh, no. Don't release him. You don't want to release the strange old man. Maybe one of the keys from the key rack will fit and lock the main door. One after another, you take the key and stow them to your jacket. As you are about to take the only red key, you hear an old man crying. Please give me that key. I will help you if you... I will help you if you... Hey, baby. Pleading, the old man reaches out his hand. You feel remorse. Do you want to give him the key now? No! Never trust a old, old ass man in a cell. That's my motto, I think. With no head is, uh, with no has no intentions to help. The old man, you take all the keys and put them into your jacket. You ignore the crying and screaming of him and turn to the door again to leave the room. Behind the door and the stairs of, to the main hall wait you again. This time you move faster. The adrenaline in your body sharpens your senses. Soon you reach the main hall again. You go through the massive door and take some keys out of your pocket. One after another, you try and insert the keys into the lock. Finally, the fourth key fits the lock. Maybe you will be able to f turn it. Suddenly, the, bark the barking of a dog lets you freeze. Stop now! The female voice sounds angry. Do you want to turn the key away? Let's see. Yes, I want to turn the key. No, I don't want to turn the key. Uh, let's turn the key. You try to turn the key, but it is stuck. You pull the key out of the lock. Hastily, you try to insert the next key when you hear the dog lead hit the the floor. And panic, you turn around trying to defend yourself, but you have no chance. The, the dog teeth sink into your flesh. You see flickering lights in front of you. 
and soon you become unconscious. You won't open your eyes again. Bruh. Okay. Let's see. You lift your hands from the key to show that you won't turn it. Whoa. You turn around and see an old woman standing in the hall. Her hand is holding the dog lead tightly. Are you alone? You nod confused. The woman is silent for a moment. Then she takes the dog lead and attach it to the guardrail. Slowly she goes forward until she stands directly in front of you. Now you see that the old woman is blind. You recognize the scent of van vanilla and lavender. Who are you? She doesn't answer. She takes your hand and puts a small thing into it. A key. This is the key for the entrance. Surprised, you look at her, but decide not to ask more questions. You insert the key in the locks and turns. It fits. When you turn around the last time, the old woman and her dog are already gone. Quickly, you leave the house. Outside the sky. Outside, the sky has lit up already. While you search a way to a, to a street, many thoughts go through your mind. You try to convince yourself that you made the right decision to leave the old man in the house. Maybe you should contact the police. Maybe. When you reach the highway, the manor is already out of sight. The end. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. With that ending. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good. <laughs> Good. Okay. Bye.